Welcome back to part two of Let's Play Samurai Deeper Kyo with Demon Eyes Kyo. When we last left off, Benatora was talking to this guy that looks kind of like Dalsim with a cape. He's Dalsim the Magician. Now, let us get back into the action. The screen burns in a swirl, and we have a character select. Well, alrighty then. You know, we're just going to be Demon Eyes Kyo because he is awesome. We know that. Let us do this. Yes. And as you can see, when I turn blue like that, oh god, that guy like farted everywhere. That's not very cool. I don't know what those arrows are. I'm thinking that's maybe saying you can go this direction. Am I poisoned? I can't even tell. It looks like maybe. That's okay. We can take this on. And we have our special. I don't know what those arrows are for, really. I have no idea. Maybe they're just saying there's going to be more enemies from here. Oh yay, some health. That's good. Because they eat rice balls for health. It reminds me a lot of Samurai Warriors in that way. And like I said, some of the names are from Samurai Warriors and Dynasty Warriors, which is surprising. I am really tired of fighting those guys, so let's go up here and fight this pink guy. Oh, we totally annihilated him. That was awesome. Maybe we picked up a, a booster or something. Maybe that's why I was glowing purple. Because it didn't seem like I was getting hurt, and when I pick up health, I glow red, which doesn't make any sense at all. You would think if you flash red, you just took damage or something. Really? God, these guys don't ever stop. Wow. Well... Needless to say, there's not there's not a shortage of fights in this game. Alright, I think we finally finished them off. Now we're to... Oh, no, there's one guy down here. Oh, there's several guys down here. Jeez. I think I forgot to put this on a different difficulty, too, so that might be why this is kind of dragging on forever. Let's see, let's go this... Whoa. Holy crap. We are going to finish these guys off in one fell swoop. Cleave with the fire blade. Oh, it killed them all in bombs. Watch it. Apparently, they do not, and uh, apparently they did not want to die um, without taking us down with them. But they failed. Yes. I tell ya, I am loving this game. It is just way too much fun. Because you might notice something we're not missing! Isn't it amazing? It's a hack and slash game with no missing. It's amazing. Jeez, these pink guys take forever to kill. And look at the marks in the ground, too. That giant cleave, that of course, is from us. That is not from them, because they are losers. They just get those little tiny holes in the ground. Really, do these guys ever end? I don't know if there's an easier way to do this or not. Like, I've tried pushing L and it doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know if maybe it's supposed to block or something, or maybe maybe if you hold it... Oh, there we go. No. No, it doesn't do anything. I don't know what good L is for. Okay, I think I killed the pink one, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I think... I don't know. I think the arrows tell you where to go. Yay! I'm hoping this gets some different enemies soon, because this is getting a little bit old. But, it's still fun. I wonder if the story's any different if you pick a different person. Like, if they have what-if stories or whatnot. You know what? You guys are really bitches. And that blue one is going to get totally cleaved as well, because we have not fought a blue one. Who knows what he would be like. Whoa, 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 don't, don't like the bombs. There we go. Really? Oh, wow. The blue ones really aren't that difficult. They're just like green ones. They don't even have that much more life, it looks like. Whoa. Oh, what's that? What is that? It looks like gold. And I cannot get it because it's in the grass. That sucks. Oh, uh, maybe that's just a flower. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think it was there before, though. But it does not look like we can get it anyway. 
Jeez, these these guys are just wimps. Where's the boss? Come on. I've had my fill of fodder. And I think I might actually bring you guys um Dynasty Warriors Advance, I'm not sure though. I guess we'll go up here. Oh jeez. Look at these blue guys. Oh whoa, what the hell is that guy? He might be a boss. Let's go ahead and cleave him. Flaming Cleave, that's what we're gonna call it. Oh damn, I think he is a boss. Oh jeez. He has got a block. That is not good. Oh jeez. Okay. Ha! Oh no, he can even block our special attack. That is not cool. I do not know how to beat him. Let's see. Maybe we just have to do a couple hits. Or like one hit. The thing that's unfair is the fact that the bosses can do their special attacks so damn often. Whew, that was close. And the health. Good. Ha! And we will cleave him because you can see him hiding in the trees there. He will not get away from this. Flaming Whirlwind! I don't even know if that's the name of the attack. I've never seen the anime. Or manga. Manga. Whatever it is. Well, I don't even think that was a boss. Oh, maybe it was. Okay. Wow, Kyo, you're so strong. But being a San Saishu wasn't as much fun as I expected. Who the hell are you? I told you earlier. I'm called Benitora. You're also one of the San Saishu, right? I just joined the San Saishu recently. So go easy on me. I figured that if I joined the Sensai Shu, I'd get to fight. Some strong opponents. But this looks like a lot more fun. I'm going to join you instead. What? Now, now. You don't know what's fun until you try. I will protect you, Miss Yuya. Do whatever you want. Let's go. He kind of seems like a nice demon, you know, kind of like Inuyasha. I guess. Yeah, we'll save our game. I like her gun, that's awesome. <clears throat> Why am I here again? Oh, don't be like that. Kyo, I want to ask you something about Kiyoshiro. Don't mention his name in my presence ever again. What the hell happened to Kiyoshiro? You're a pain in the ass. Hang on. Looks like someone is coming. Who could it be? Oh, look at that. It looks like a very tall, very um, malnourished Toshiro Hitsugaya, kind of. I finally found you. What do you think you're doing, Shiro Garasu? Well, that's an annoying name. Benitora. So now you're on their side? You better not. You don't stand a chance against him. You, who has no name. You, who lives as he pleases. Someone like you cannot begin to understand. You sure talk a lot. Who are you? I've given up my real name. Fine. Then get out of my sight. And again, we've got the square there, which probably marks the next level. There's not going to be enough time with Bandicam, so I'm going to cut this one a little bit short. It's not too bad. Come on back next time, and we are going to fight this guy. Hopefully he will be the boss, and hopefully he is going to put up more of a fight than little uh, blazing blue Kunai's ninja did. Because we totally saw him through the trees, and he cannot block the flaming 360 sword. I don't know what it is. I, I can't hear the game, so I don't know what he says. I don't even know if it's in English. But anyway, join me next time in part three, where we are going to take on this Toshiro guy. Later.